Hi, I'm George from King On Electric Vehicles and today we're going to update you on the Mercedes EV conversion build. So one of the biggest things in the conversions that we do is the actual placement of all the components. You're basically putting stuff that isn't supposed to be in the vehicle in the vehicle. So here you can see the front motor mount. So two custom motor mounts either side of the motor onto the original mount points on the the, the cross member. There as we went past you just seen we've had to notch the cross member and we've put a strengthening plate across the front just to make sure that's all nice and tight. Here you can see the DC DC converter and the electric hydraulic power steering pump alongside the battery. So those are all things that need to be located. Then you've got a strengthening bar for the front box to sit on and then the circular plate is for a vacuum pump. So that's all inside the, the engine bay there. This is the boot floor, which had holes for the tank sender units and, and different things in the floor. So we've, we've patched them over. And then under the, the rear two, there is a new cross member that at the side there is mounts for the charger. So you can see that we've had to prep this whole area before putting the box in. Sorry to interrupt you whilst you're watching this update on our EV conversion. But did you know the other side of the King on Electric Vehicles is the fact that we source electric vehicles for people through the trade auctions. We get the exact specification for what you want at a much less price than it would be on a dealer's forecourt. So, Click the link in the description below or visit kinghornev.com to find out more about our electric vehicle buying service. Now, back to the exciting stuff. So this is the battery box in, mocked up into the boot area. As you can see, it's a large battery box. It's got to take nine Tesla battery modules and it has tabs on the, the side of it to actually locate through the cross members and securely fasten into the, the boot area. And then as we walk from the rear of the car to the front, you can see that obviously all the bodywork still needs doing as well. Another view of the underbonnet area, but this time with the front battery box in, which takes four of the Tesla Model S battery modules. And you can see it sits on that front cross member that we showed you around before. And this gives you a view of the plate for the vac pump with the vac pump actually sat on there. So you can see that and then you can see the, you've, we've got a cross beam that mounts onto the original chassis that holds part of that in. There's the beautiful um, adapter plate between the original gearbox and the motor which then holds the, the coupler in between and a good view of the DC-DC, um, the power steering pump and also the, the, the battery. So that's everything all in the, in the conversion that we've done so far. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this update. Um, I hate all of those people that ask you to like and subscribe on YouTube, so I'm not going to ask you, but if you want to, you can. And just to let you know as well, we have a, a weekly update email, so if you want to go on our website to the conversion section and sign up for the email list, you'll actually get details of exactly what we're doing with all of the conversions that we've got on the go at the moment. And we're going to get much better at keeping regular updates. So, once again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.